Hey guys, Spore to Death, and welcome back to Diablo 4. Uh, so, uh, I don't know if I'm going to get five videos out this week, but I'm going to try. Uh, as you can see, I'm a little bit beefier than the last time I played. Uh, I did some leveling up and working on my own, but we're going to get back to the story. So let's just see where we are. Yeah. Act 3, the making monsters spreading the darkness. Okay. I had not realized we had gotten so far. But... We have had requests for people to, from people to have me do the story for Diablo 4. Oh, look. We're going to go to Kid Barton. I should make sure there's nothing in my inventory before I start going. But yeah, we're going to get back to the story. We left off after we fought Astaroth in the last one, I think. Alright, uh, yeah, our, our gear is good. We've got no durability issues. Yeah, okay. Okay, so, uh, search for Lorath in Ked Bardu. Okay, I'm gonna skip the side quests. I was doing side quests on my own. They're fun, but they're not really camera worthy. <clears throat> and they really do bring out the, uh, the game for a while. Is that him? Well, he's still breathing. He is lucky to be. All right, Derek. What happened here? That old man there, he claims to be Horadrim, but he drinks like an ox. Oh. He came to town days ago, looking for a servant of the demon Lilith. A pale man. It seems he didn't like what he found. I see. I'll take it from here. Oh, and let me check my Who sound. <clears throat> He and I met in the Fractured Peaks. I saw his pale man in a vision, if you can believe it. Enough. He's yours. Just keep away from the bottle, both of you. Alright, let me just check my sound real quick, because when I was playing with friends, I did have to turn my sound down. Oh yeah, because I couldn't hear them. Okay. There we go. Alright. And... Take a peek. At my recording, I'm gonna actually pump that up a little bit because it's just, it sounds a little low. It sounds a little low. There we go. I'm trying to perfect this. What's that coming? <sighs> oh, bloody damn hells! What do you want? You told me to meet you here, Loref. Remember? Well, of course I remember. I'm just surprised you're not dead. Hand me that bottle. Not what a good idea. You? I was attacked, <clears throat> obviously, by vast quantities of alcohol, wielded by my own treacherous hand. <sighs> there may also have been a brawl with the goats over this patch of mud. But I like to think I triumphed. Lorath, who is the Pale Man? The Pale Man is... was... Haradrim. Haradrim? Then you must know him. I thought I did, once. His name is Elias. He was my apprentice. He was the one who brought Lilith to Sanctuary. It's possible that I did not take the news very well. What must we do then? Find it. Figure out what he's done. And then kill him. Listen. There's a woman here someplace. She has some messages we'll need. And I'm of no use to anyone right now. He's having one Could of those you find ones. her? Enough time has been wasted. Okay, so we're going to find this woman. Check around the inn. Ask if she's heard from the Orbay Monastery. I'm pretty sure I can find her. There's a big icon on the map that points to her exact location. So it shouldn't really be an issue. Oh, uh, one quick update before we move on with the story. Um, I found out later on that it's very hard to... Um, like, I linked a power to this, so it's got flurry on it. Uh, if I want to imprint it on another weapon, I actually have to break a legendary. Lorath sent me, have you heard from Orbe Monastery? No, no word from Orbe. 
Same as yesterday and the day before. But I have something else. Rumor has it a pale man passed through the Abaru Canyon some time ago. Fearsome fellow, dressed in black. After Laura's performance last night, I wager he'll want to know. Travels beware of deadly spots for them. Threat spotted nearby. Do not travel through the Ashen Tread in the southern Scarred Coast without mercenary escort or horrific demon calling itself Alum Alum Alumnun scares the area for its next victim. Alumun. Um, um, yeah, that's when. Why do demons always have hard to pronounce names? Why, why can't it be like George or Steve? No, it's got to be aluminum. Okay, so we have some sides that we saw the witness to the evil in Scotland. Oh, Donan. <clears throat> the poor fool never could have guessed that Lilith would come for Astaroth, let alone offer his boy to it. But what does she buy in return? Astaroth hails from the realm of hatred, same as she. Perhaps she left something at home. I have news from the Fractured Peaks. Denarius' stupidity never ceases to amaze. Had he not murdered Rathma, Lilith might have been stopped. But now, now she has the key to hell. We can assume she'll be looking for a door. Strange. I wrote to the Orbe Monastery the day I arrived. The abbot should have replied by now. Tech then spoke of a rumor. A pale man, seen near the canyons. The canyons? Why didn't you say so? We go at once. Ugh. But we can't leave Orbe unchecked. Sod it. I'm off to the canyons. You can meet me there, or go to the monastery. You seem reliable. Thus far, do not prove me wrong. I was gonna say, do they have a working postal service here? Um, what do you want with the Orbel Monastery? The Orbe. scholars of Orbe devote their lives to the study of forbidden <clears throat> knowledge. To serve the light, we must know the darkness. Or some other silly platitude. I wrote to the abbot seeking insights on Lilith. His silence is most unusual. He is dead. The man never misses a chance to speak. He's dead. Definitely dead. Why would Elias summon Lilith? <laughs> Is he insane, you mean? Elias was an exceptional mage. He would plunge through fire and shite in search of the truth, and very often found it. Whatever truth he has found in Lilith, only he can say the why of it. So we have no idea why this guy is doing what he does. All right, I leveled up, so let's spend a point here. Um, I think I'm going to finish uh, Shadow and Movement, because I think I need five points in that. Let me pull up my notes here. Yes, five to five. There we go. Easy, easy to pick. All right. Okay, so we can meet the canyon... We go to the monastery. I'm putting money that the guy is dead, so we're gonna go to the monastery first, right? Let's see where all of this is in game. So the monastery is down there, and then the other thing is somewhere I don't know. You know what? It doesn't matter. Oh, over here. Loroth in the canyon. Okay. Monastery first, because you know what? It opens up a new area, and we get to see the area a little bit and see some monsters and you know stuff. Stuff, it's important. <clears throat> yeah, 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 my town quarter is closing, my town quarter is closing. I get the town quarter is closing. All right, so we got to move, follow the road to the next area. Got it. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit better about finding my way in Diablo. Oh, remembering to actually cast those. Because if you don't have your uh, shadow imbuement and your shadow orbs up, you're pretty much at a big disadvantage. That's right. There we go. I do like the fact that they put snake enemies in the game. It's kind of cool, because we've always had, like, snake people, but never an actual just straight-up snake. It was something you stepped on and then forgot about. 
okay. Some lag. All right, we're gonna head south. We're gonna head south on this path. Yeah. Poke those jars for no reason. No reason. There we go. Okay. Let's go see if this monk is dead. He's probably dead. Almost definitely dead. Definitely a dead guy. That horse didn't do too well. Okay, so we can basically juke into the monastery. There's a doorway pretty early on. I'll just take it. One fight between point A and point B. Really? Oh, you get combo points even if you smack stuff. Oh, oh, that's a no useful monks, tip. No wards. Why do I feel I'm being watched? Did I call it or did I call it? Message from the abbot. Lord Athna, how bizarre it is to hear from you. Your charming apprentice arrived just this morning with equally disturbing news, but he made no mention of you. Am I to assume you did not send him? Please, join us at Orbe as soon as you are able. Okay. Alright, so now poking stuff is useful because I have combo points, right? So if I poke stuff that's not in combat, I'm getting combo points. So I can open with a flurry and then I get double my attack speed. And my flurry has extra damage. So, good news. Poke stuff in the environment. Interactables. Interact with them. Smack them around. It is actually useful for a reason. Yeah. Lock the doors. What about the others? The elbow. Do as I say. I'm gonna head north. All right, we're locked in here now. That's great. It's over here. Anything? Anything worthwhile? No, no, no. All right, let's check in here. All right. Just, uh, raided the dead. I mean, he's not gonna use the money. <gasps> he's here! Ooh, Crusader Skull. Place the Crusader Skull on a pedestal. Okay. Why did we have a Crusader? And it's, like, stuck on our back, too. It's not really a skull, it's more of a bust. Hey, chest. Okay. I mean, if I can get some cash off these dead guys, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Take their stuff, for they are dead. Ugh, this, this feels like there's a big boss at the battle at the end of it. Something tells me. Placing. Get in there and fight. So excited when I walked into the sacristy that day. Finally, my turn to enter the archive and explore the knowledge of darkness. Now, I've given up to forget. Oh, we're not done. Oh. I'm not ready yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get you back. Oh, hey. Failed to kill him. Oops. Silly, silly me. All right. Well, it's not really telling me where to go, but if we're searching the uh, the monastery, it doesn't make any sense to tell me where to go. I don't know what I'm looking for. Yeah. 
objective. All right, what else we got here? Oh. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it on World Tier 1 if I'm alone. I was playing in World Tier 2 uh, with friends uh, last week, and you guys have probably seen the videos, and uh, I feel a little squishy on that World Tier. Um, considering I'm gonna do all the boss fights on my own, I've got nobody to back me up. I'm gonna keep it on 1 for now. Um, mostly until I finish this story, and then I'm gonna start working on, like, really beefing up my character. But there, there are parts of the story I still haven't seen yet, and I'm really interested in seeing how this goes. I'm gonna check everywhere, because that's kind of how I am. My completionist, uh, instincts yeah. make it so I want to actually, like, see every little piece and see if I've found every piece of treasure and all that goodness. Oh, journal. The great beast Tathamet was struck down, and its blackened husk sank below the abyss. There, it smoldered and festered, and from the ruin of its seven heads were born seven great evils. Three primes and four lessers. Enemies of all creation. Okay, so we got some lore. Yeah. So the evils actually come from a slain creature. Not a Haratra, not a man. A devil. Okay. So we got a message from the dead there. In fact, we're supposed to go for the back. Yes. Need more time. But I'm gonna take this little side path and see where this goes. Step in the stink explosion. Yeah, I've learned I don't like stink as a status effect. Okay. I'm glad not every monk actually makes it so it's like you, every time you click on a monk, it's a fight. Combo points. Okay, so the whole thing actually just does ties together at the end. Permission during the time of trouble. Damn you, Abbot! Why did you let him in? Since then, the archive has expanded to the study of all evils, restricted to only the most devout scholars of Zakarum. Okay. Oh, this is where we're supposed to go. Believe me, I shall keep it safe. And then... Uh, excuse me, Mr. Raving Monk, are you still sane? Are you wounded? Where is the abbot? I don't think this is the right question to ask, but go for it. The abbot, open the door. And the pale devil smiled. He took the forbidden knowledge. Shh, it's all right. I've cleared the way out. Can you walk? There is no way out. What knowledge remains must never leave. And to evening I shall keep it safe, and into the night he laughed there. We must protect the archive. The dude is dedicated to his job. And then he dies. <laughs> I was 
was gonna say, I thought this was Sturdy pants. Search the abbot for the monk. Okay. Alright, this looks like it's the right way to go. Because we're going down. You missed! We don't want to stand on that part like this. Alright, what do they actually do? Whoa! Alright, those guys were pretty yeah. good. Let's check in here. And then I get jumped. Yeah, the only, the only complaint is it's a really long cooldown on those skills and you have to keep them up all the time. So it feels like you should not go into combat all the time. And it, it kind of feels like it makes the game take a little bit. I, I agree you should be able to spam them, but a 20 second cooldown is kind of hard. Tide box. Okay, I'll steal from the church. Not ready yet. There we go. Shadow imbuement, not too bad. Thirteen seconds, and you can fight without shadow imbuement. But the the orbs, I think, they're really important. Just to smack a couple of things so we can start fresh. Start a fight with Corey. And it does have a tendency to double tap on a controller. I'm not ready yet. You ready now? Oh crap. Yeah, those rays, they're a little tough. They're a little tough. Everything else is fine. Zacharum statue. A statue of the Litany of Orbe Monastery. From morning, my eyes were open and I saw the coming darkness. Yeah, this looks like... This looks like we're going the right way. I don't want to take too much time here. There's a boss fight in there. Oh, what do we got here? Into the evening, I shall keep it safe and into the night hereafter. Alright. Here we go. You know who would seek to know darkness, kneel before the light, speak the words of litany, and accept our holy burden. Okay, so uh, what do we have to find all the statues? Yeah, find the words of the secret that needs to be next. I read them already! I read that on the way in! It doesn't count. It doesn't get until I pick up the quest. Alright, I ran around and did the silly thing. You can open the door now. To the very obvious boss fight coming up. From morning, my eyes were open, and I saw the coming darkness. Through the day, I have prepared to accept the burden of knowledge. Unto evening, I shall keep it safe, and into the night hereafter. I like how that removes a physical lock from the door. Oh yeah, everything's on fire, this isn't good. Alright. Oh, hey, Abbot of Orbe, how come you're in a room full of fire? I deserve to burn with the rest of it. 
Where is Elias? Gone. He said the ruin of Sanctuary was imminent and only I could help. He is going to summon a lesser evil. He took all he needed and then my scholars, he murdered them. He... Yeah, um, I, I didn't mind that. Forgive me. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to leave this one here because this was pretty epic. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. And I'm going to make some shorter videos this week to explore the story of Diablo 4. So see you next time. Bye-bye.